All right, so ever since that person asked me that question, um, how I think I'll pair against like a, the top MMA fighter, just got me thinking about other things as well. So I'm just making some videos on that. Um, so basically, I was just thinking about the same question: How would, would I think I pair with against Bruce Lee um, during his, you know, his peak of development, you know, and and how I feel right now because I feel that I'm like at my I feel like that I'm at the peak of my develop not at the peak of the, my my development but um, this is I think I still have more room to grow and to even get better so but as how I feel right now as, skill, as far as my skills and abilities my honest assessment on what I how I think I do if it was say it was just me and Bruce you know out in the streets or out in the forest or whatever and we had a a real street fight you know but I don't like to think of it in a street fight it's more like um if we sparred how I think I'd do with him um I think I'd do pretty well you know honestly I think that you know when he died, he didn't weigh that much. I have more weight on him. And I feel that I, I have more strength on him. I feel that he's not he wasn't as strong as I as I am. Um, he does definitely have the speed, but that's a given because he weighs less. And that's what his primary focus was on, was a lot of speed. But at the same time, I don't think that speed um, is that important. Um, as far as like the tactics of the combat situation, I feel I have that down and I know exactly what I need to do um, for efficiency and practicality and that um, I'll do very well against them, you know. As far as my ability to overtake them, I think I would be able to. And that's my honest assessment. But you know, just that's just how I honestly would feel. You know, what I mean, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm trying to make it seem like I'm better than him. It's just that that's just how I honestly would feel. But obviously, if he was a lot, you know, if during that time, you know, he would feel it the same way. He would think that he could overtake me. So we're just both individuals that think we could overtake each other. Um, but it didn't have, doesn't have to get violent. It's just more like sparring, you know, just with controlled sparring. Like who would be able to overtake the other person, you know. And But I just feel, this is pretty much how I feel. I feel... So confident of my abilities that anybody smaller than me, there's no way they could overtake me. That's how I feel. Like, weighing at 145 pounds, pretty much anybody smaller than me, I could take them all out. That's how I feel. You know, about my abilities. So, because he he was not, you know, at my level and the strength-wise, I think I'd overtake him. You know, but... It doesn't really mean much, though, no matter what I think. Um, it's not like I'm out there to prove it. And there's no way that I even could prove it. And even if there was a way, there's no... His level of fame, say he was alive at the peak of his game, his level of fame, there's absolutely no incentive for him to even allow me to prove it because he doesn't get anything out of it and I get everything out of it so I prove it on camera and then what I get fame just for doing that and that's it whereas he worked so hard to get to the, his level of fame there's absolutely no reason for him to even accept any sort of challenge you know from anybody you know and um If we were friends, we would just have to spar privately 
and nobody would know, you know, what the outcome would be. Because he needs to protect his fame and his reputation. You know, just because I'm better at spar doesn't mean shit. What big deal? You know, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's just he still has all the fame and fortune and recognition, and um, he's not just gonna give that up for nothing. Just because somebody else is better at sparring than him, um, there's so much other areas of development that are important um, I mean it's, that's not just what it's all about you know and people just don't get it you know they just don't get it but I that's how I honestly would feel because I feel like I've I trained very hard to get to where I'm at and that um you know I, I learned a lot from him and basically his technique you know learning his techniques or learning his way really helped me express and develop myself to a much higher level than I ever would be at um, like I said it doesn't matter it's just sparring like who cares you know that's like not even that big of a deal you know I just see sparring as just like another aspect of development just like not that much more significant than just like like bench pressing or squatting or bicep curl or military press or or running or sprinting it's just a part of the development you know and Like what got him famous was not just his ability to to spar or fight. It was just, you know, he got into acting. He's a really good actor. He had the opportunities. And um, he's a good teacher. I mean, there's a lot of areas that he was really good at that made him into the person he was. It wasn't just about the sparring. So... It's just like these people that praise these fighters just because they fight well. Like, what else could they do? I mean, that's all they could do. It's just really silly. You know, so. But when there's a specific individual that I could um, pair myself up to, I could give an honest assessment. You know. But when it's just like some random thing where you say, oh, the, the best MMA fighter, oh, I don't even know who you're talking about. You know, so it's hard to 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 um, give my opinion on somebody that where I don't even it's a fantasy figure. Like I don't even know who you're talking about. It's like saying how I would spar against Batman or Spider Man or somebody like that, where they don't even exist. It's just a figment of your imagination. You know, but as far as Bruce Lee is concerned, I feel like I'm at a higher level um, of development. But that's just my honest. That's my honest um, assessment. But of course, nobody's gonna. Everybody's gonna hate. You know, think I'm arrogant and conceited for saying that, and think that um that I'm not even close or whatever the case may be. Um, but I don't care what they think. That this is what I think, and that's what I feel. You know, obviously Bruce Lee's not gonna. He's not gonna. Be like, oh yes, he can. I mean, the fact of the matter is, he needs to protect his fame and pre protect his reputation, because his reputation is grounded upon him being the best of the best. But um, you know, but that's just how I feel, and it's not in his place to prove it me otherwise, because there's no incentive for him to do that. You know, he has no benefit whatsoever. Um, but even so, just because somebody's better at sparring than him doesn't mean that they're the next Bruce Lee. You know, so there's so much more uh, aspects to the martial arts development that has nothing to do with just sparring. So, 
But that's how I honestly feel about it.